Now that school is back in session, have you looked at your child's backpack? Some of them can weigh 20 pounds, and they're being blamed for more than 14,000 injuries to kids every year. We have Dr. Mark Furfer, who is here uh, from the Cleveland University, Kansas City, in Overland Park. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having and me. And you've brought some examples of this. I know people know that they have to notice these kids are weighed down with these heavy books in their backpacks. Yes, we find that a lot of kids are carrying backpacks that are way too heavy for their size. Um, uh, the American Chiropractic Association and the American Academy of Orthopedics recommends no more than 10 to 15 percent of the body weight should be the backpack weight. All right, so explain and demonstrate for us this backpack that you brought here. Well, I just brought an example of uh, a good backpack mm -hmm. uh, because um, it's got a uh, padded back and mm -hmm. wide padded straps mm -hmm. and it's light to start with, mm -hmm. only a couple of pounds mm -hmm. versus this backpack mm -hmm. which weighs about 10 pounds empty. So you're starting with a wow. backpack that's too heavy for the kids. Right, and it has three different sections. So wow, once you fill these sections with you know, textbooks and right. papers computers. and computers, yeah. that really is going to weigh down. Or what injuries are we talking about, seriously? Uh, we actually see a number of kids with back pain and mm. shoulder pain. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not real common in kids. It's very common for adults to have back pain, but kids, uh, we're seeing more back pain. Yeah. But the backpack can affect the shoulders and especially the neck. It can affect the knees, the, the low back. And we even see kids with headaches sometimes really? because of the pressure on the, the neck. So it's the nerve endings here and the muscles here that are, are being strained. Yeah, a heavy backpack really causes the kids to pull their head forward mm -hmm. and it puts a lot of tension on their upper back. <sighs> All right, so what's your advice, some quick tips for parents first? Well, the backpack should weigh no more than 10 to 15 percent of the body weight. Uh, so a, a hundred pound child mm -hmm. You should have a backpack that weighs no more than 15 pounds. Try full. To, yeah, full. Full. Okay. Yes. So this is. And try yeah. to and not, you know, we would like to see the, the kids not carry all of their books in the pack. Uh, look for lighter computers. Um, okay. And um, I, you know, I like the, the, like the, there's a number of computers now that, and um, uh, platforms that are lighter, like sure. the Chromebook. It only weighs sure. a few pounds. You know, versus a real heavy laptop. God, that's uh, that's such great idea. And sometimes we really are not noticing and looking. So, so maybe carry the laptop or some books in your hand, and that kind of yeah. balances the weight that they're because yeah. they've got to have their books, their laptops, and all their you know well, notebooks and things. Yeah, the kids want to have a backpack that fits them well. That's not too big, mm -hmm. not too wide, and probably you see a lot of kids wearing it over one shoulder. They should use both straps. Okay. And uh -huh. and uh, if it has a waist strap, that helps take some of the weight off the back. And I would really consider, if, if the kids have a heavy computer or need to carry a lot of books, they mm -hmm. should maybe consider a wheeled backpack that can roll behind them. Yeah, even better. All right. Dr. Fever, thank you so much for being here and for sharing this great information. Parents, take heed. Look at your kids' backpacks. Thanks Make for sure. having me. Absolutely.